Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. We have the indefinite integral of the square root of 1 plus e to the x dx. Okay, here I go. I'm going to let u equal the entire integrand, square root of 1 plus e to the x. And then from there, I'm going to square both sides. So we have u squared equals 1 plus e to the x. And now I'll differentiate to figure out what dx is in terms of du. So 2u du is going to equal e to the x dx. All right, so I want to replace dx so that it's entirely in terms of u. Over here, I've got dx times e to the x. So 2u du over e to the x is equal to dx. What can I do so I can rewrite e to the x in terms of u? Just come back right here, solve for e to the x, and we can see e to the x is equal to u squared minus 1. So then this means dx is equal to 2u du over u squared minus 1. Good? Looks like we're in business. We can make this u sub in one fell swoop. Okay, so instead of all of this square root 1 plus e to the x, that's now just u. So we've got u times, and then dx is all of this, 2u du over u squared minus 1. 2u du over u squared minus 1. Perfect. Okay, now let's clean up. So notice here we'll have 2u squared in the numerator over u squared minus 1 du. And when you notice that the denominator is not bottom heavy, meaning that the degree of the denominator is not higher than the degree of the numerator, we need to long divide. But you know, I'm always looking for a way out of long division. And there is one, thankfully. So take the 2 outside. And then you've got u squared over u squared minus 1 du. And do you remember the little slick maneuver we do? You subtract 1 and add 1. That way you can cancel this u squared minus 1 with the u squared minus 1 in the denominator. So now we're going to rewrite the integrand as 2 times u squared minus 1 over u squared minus 1 plus 1 over u squared minus 1 du. You all right? Good. You don't have to write out so many steps once you get the hang of it. You know what I mean? So this is going to be 2 times the integral 1 plus 1 over u squared minus 1 du. And some of you might have just memorized the antiderivative of this quantity so you can bypass doing the partial fraction decomposition. It's kind of up to you. I have students who like to memorize it, but I don't force them to. So I'm just going to work through all the steps. I do know that I'm going to pick up a one half and I, you know, in order to avoid that, I'm going to distribute the two through before I do my partial fraction decomp for that term. It'll just make it nicer. So we have two plus two over u squared minus one du. And then just off to the side here, let's just find partial fraction decomposition for two over u squared minus one. So that factors into u minus one and u plus one. Those are both linear factors, so we'll just have constants in the numerator. a over u minus 1 plus b over u plus 1. And then multiply through by the LCD, we'll have 2 equals a times u plus 1 plus b times u minus 1. And then to solve for the constants, I'm just going to let u be negative 1 first, then 2 equals a times 0 plus b times negative 2 so that means b is negative 1. And then if u is 1, 2 equals 2a plus 0. So a is 1. That's why I multiplied through by the 2. Otherwise, those would be a negative 1 half and a positive 1 half, which is not the end of the world. But doesn't this just look nicer? OK, good. So here we have now our integral pretty much ready to go. 2 plus a is 1 over u minus 1 minus, right, b is negative, minus 1 over u minus 1 du. And then from here, antiderivative is pretty relaxing. 2u plus ln absolute value, u minus 1 
minus ln absolute value u. Oops, that should be a plus, shouldn't it? Oh me, oh my. Plus one. Please forgive me. Plus c. And then sub back in, u was equal to, do you even remember? The square root of 1 plus e to the x. So this is going to be 2 square root 1 plus e to the x plus ln. Now, this is always going to be bigger than 1. So if I subtract 1, I don't have to worry that this argument on my natural log would be negative. I can just switch to parentheses now. And then we have square root 1 plus e to the x minus 1 minus ln square root 1 plus e to the x plus 1 plus c. Oh, I hate being so squished. Let's just scoot over. Um, I switched to parentheses on this last guy. Since there's addition, I don't even need to fret. All is well. Let's box this with pride. That was a job well done. Hopefully you guys were all able to get that one. I'm sure there's other approaches too. So if you did something different, let me know in the comments. I love reading your different solutions. I like to see how sometimes you guys do it the same way that I didn't think of. And... That's pretty much it. Don't forget to subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. The Integration B, where I teach, is this Thursday. Okay. I'm not filming. There's just too many students. I can't get their consent. So I'll just come, I'll report back, and I'll have lots of lovely new integrals, I'm sure, to share with you all. So that should be good fun. And stay tuned. I have a lot of new content coming soon. Differential equation stuff for members, as well as... If you, I made a calculus three video yesterday on double integrals and polar regions. It's over an hour long and it's just me working through lots and lots of examples. It's a continuation video on that topic. So I'll be making more calc three content in the coming weeks. I know that playlist needs some beefing up and I'm happy to do it. Happy to oblige. Don't forget to follow me also on Instagram, TikTok, Math with Professor V. Thank you guys so much for your support. I love you all. I'll be back sooner than later. Bye.